Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I'm going to do in this uh, video is show you how to solve this absolute value equation. All right, so the first thing we want to do when we're solving absolute value equations is to isolate the absolute value part of the equation. So this is the part I'm talking about. Okay, so the absolute value 2x minus 5, I want to isolate that. In other words, I want to kind of get that all by itself on one side of the equation. I'm going to put that on the left-hand side. So you can kind of think to yourself, well, it's almost like solving for this part of the equation. So what I need to do is get rid of this 3 next to it. Okay, now that's pretty easy. All I need to do is just add 3 to both sides of the equation, and I can kind of get that absolute value part all by itself. So what you get is absolute value of 2x minus 5 is equal to 13. All right, so that's like your first step. Okay, now this is only one example. I'll do um, many others, but uh, there's you know you might have to take more than one step. You might have to take a few steps to get the absolute value part of the equation all by itself. But this is the main goal, okay, the initial main goal. Now sometimes you already have it set up this way, and if you do, then that's great too. Okay, so here we have the absolute value two x minus five equals thirteen. Now here's the key step when you're solving any absolute value equation. Um, any absolute value equation is what we need to do now is take I'm going to get my highlighter out what we need to do is take this part 2x minus 5 and we're going to set that equal to 13 and negative 13 so let me show you this is going to be 2x minus 5 is equal to 13 and 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 13 okay now I've done a lot of uh, other um, uh, videos and, and some other material on this over at AlgebraTestHelper.com to explain what we're, why we're doing this. But basically what you need to realize is this. Whatever's inside the absolute value equation, okay, whatever's inside of there, you need to go ahead and set it equal to, you need to form two equations, and you're going to set that equal to this number, okay, whatever this value is, and the opposite of, the value, of that value. So in that case it's going to be 13 and negative 13. Now, of course, there's. Uh, I think you should know why we're doing that. But for right now, um, let's just go ahead and just focus on getting the answer to this particular equation. But that's the process, okay? So just to recap, what we've done first was to solve for the absolute value part of the equation, okay? Next, we're taking the absolute value away by forming two equations. We're setting what's inside of the absolute value symbols equal to the positive and negative version of this value. Okay, all right. So if you understand that, then you're pretty much home free because all we need to do is solve these equations, and you're going to get two answers. So this is pretty simple. I'm going to add five to both sides of the equation. I get two x is equal to 18, or x is equal to nine, because that's one of my solutions. And then here, I'm going to add five to both sides of the equation, and I get two x is equal to negative eight, or x is equal to negative 4. Okay, so those are my two solutions, x equals 9 and x equals negative 4. Remember, um, there's always two solutions when you're talking about an absolute value equation. All right, just a real quick example. Now, if I said, what's the uh, solution to this basic absolute value equation, absolute value of what number is equal to 13? Well, there would be two answers, right? The absolute value of 13 is equal to 13, but also the absolute value of negative 13 is also equal to 13. And that kind of ties into why we set these equations up um, the way we did. Anyways, uh, just a quick example on how to do these absolute value equations. Hopefully this helps you out. Pretty straightforward. Um, these, these steps are going to remain the same. So if you understand this problem, you should be uh, fine with other absolute value equation problems. All right, so hopefully this video, video helped you out. Come on over to AlgebraTestHelper.com. It's a free resource. Uh, I've got tons of material over there, uh, all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care and good luck.